So today what we're going to do is take the easy route to building a magic mirror. With this. A pre-made magic mirror. The only thing I'm worried about is there is a hole punched in the top here. So welcome to Techno Dad Life, and my name is Jeff. And so today what we're going to do is open up this Vilros magic mirror, and hopefully it's not broken. And if it's not, we're going to make a magic mirror. So let's cut this thing open. So it doesn't look broken, but let's pull it out. Okay, so let's see what's in the package here. So we have a micro USB to USB cable, then a HDMI to looks like mini or micro or mini HDMI. And then, of course, we have the mirror here, and it has this protective film on it. And I just want to say, this thing is super heavy. So let's turn it over. Now, the back side's all sealed. It has uh, two latches on it, one over here, one you can't see there. So I wouldn't say it's the greatest quality, because like the screws aren't screwed down all the way. So you can't really tell. Here, let me see if I can lift this up. You can see I can stick my fingernail under there because none of the screws are down all the way. And then we have this compartment. So I was going to put a uh, Raspberry Pi 3B in here because I have one. So let's see if it actually fits in there. So the first thing we're going to do is actually install Magic Mirror on an SD card so then we can uh, put it on our Raspberry Pi that we're putting in this. So first thing we need to do is go to raspberrypi.org downloads and download the Raspberry Pi OS imager. And for me, it'd be Raspberry Pi imager for Windows. And next, you'll need a micro SD card. We're going to stick that into our card reader and then plug that into our computer. So next, what we want to do is download the SD card memory card formatter from the sdcard.org association and install both of those. Start the SD card formatter and format that. Once that's done, close that. Then go to the Raspberry Pi imager, choose OS. And for this one, we need to have the standard 32-bit version at the top. Click on that, choose our SD card, and then click right. Now, many of the steps today are going to take a while, so make sure you have lots of coffee. So once that's done, uh, close that. And then we're going to open up the SD card, and here you can see. And so we're going to add two files to this. And so first, we're just going to right-click, click New, and then click Text Document. And we're just going to type in SSH, and then click to the side there. And then we're going to search for Notepad, and then open that up. And then we're going to copy and paste this into Notepad. So the second file is so that your Raspberry Pi will connect automatically to Wi-Fi. The first thing we did, the SSH, is so then it will start SSH automatically. So you need to put in your SSID here and your password. And then once you've done that, click on File and then Save As. And we're going to call this file WPA underscore supplicant.config. And then we're going to add it to all files and then save it to our Raspberry Pi SSD. Now, if we go back to our Raspberry Pi SD card, we can see we have our SSH and our WPA supplicant file. Now we can right-click and eject that. 
So the next step is actually taking the SD card, putting it in a Raspberry Pi, and then putting that into the mirror. So now we're going to open up the box here. And basically we have a USB, uh, looks like a audio port, a VGA port, a HDMI port, and a power port. So we can try to use the power port where there are 3B, but I've read that it only works with the Raspberry Pi Zero. But the Magic Mirror software isn't designed for the Raspberry Pi Zero. There is a way to get around this, uh, but today we're not going to do that. So what we're going to do is take our Raspberry Pi 3 in there and run our power cable out through this hole here for the Raspberry Pi and for the Magic Mirror. Now I don't have a short HDMI cable, uh, so basically I'm going to use this one and then sort of stuff it in under the mirror. Okay, so let me show you how I got everything in here. So here's my Raspberry 3B, and just make sure you put in your SD card uh, before you get started. So I got my shortest HDMI cable, which I then stuffed under here. This is basically blank space. And then uh, attached it to the 3B and then into the, the board here for the monitor. And then uh, I attached the 3B power supply and the Magic Mirror power supply. And so what you have to do is actually thread them through hole here and then that slide shut. So let's set this up and see what happens. So you can see here now that it is, it's working. Uh, what I actually had to do was switch out the HDMI cable. And so let's go back to our computer, SSH back in. Okay, so we're back at Windows PowerShell. We need to SSH Pi Raspberry.local again. Log in as Raspberry. Hit enter again. So next we're gonna type in sudo raspy config, then hit enter. And here you can see in the top right corner, or top left corner, it says Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Revision 1 2. And down here below is the software configuration tool. And so we're going to be changing some things on here. So first we're going to change our password. So we're going to hit enter and OK to change it. Type in a new password, hit enter, and type it in again. And then OK, the password's been changed. Then we're going to go down to number two, network options. And we're going to change our host name. Click OK. So our new host name is going to be Magic Mirror. Then click Enter. Next, we're going to go to localization options, number four. Hit Enter. Change time zone. Hit Enter. And then pick your region and then your time zone. Next, we're going to go to five. Hit Enter. We're going to enable VNC in case we want to do that. And then tab over to yes. Hit now VNC is enabled. And now we're going to go down to seven advanced options, A1 expand file system, and then OK. And finally, we're going to tab to finish, then click reboot, and then it will restart. Once that's rebooted, now we have to log in as sshpy at magicmirror.local. Hit enter. Enter our new password. Next, we're going to type in sudo apt-get space update and in sudo apt-get upgrade and then hit enter. And so while this is downloading any updates, you can go to realvnc.com and download your version of VNC for your operating system. And some of these updates will take a very long time, so be patient. But once they are ready, uh, then you can click yes and then install everything. In the meantime, time for another cup of coffee. Okay, well that took a long time and we have two more long things to do before we're finished.
So next we're going to go to Magic Mirror Scripts, which is at github.com, SD Etwell, Magic Mirror Scripts. And so we only need to do one thing here, and that is copy this line. Go back to our terminal, paste that in, and hit Enter. And now it's time for that second pot of coffee. So after a very long time, you'll get here. Do you want to use PM2 for auto starting of your magic mirror? Y and then enter. Next, we want to disable the screensaver. And here you can see that it's online now, the server. And so we're going to press Y. And so now we're done setting up magic mirror. OK, so we just have three more things to do. And then we'll be done with the initial setup. And so we have to uh, do screen orientation, set our, uh, set our temperature and time format, and then add in our location for the weather. So, go, so again, uh, log into your magic mirror if you haven't already. Next, type in sudo nano space slash boot slash config dot text, hit enter. We're going to tab down to the bottom, and we're going to put in display dash rotate equals one and so what this will do is change the rotation of the screen from this way to this way so when we hang it on the wall it will be long uh, if it's not the right direction then instead of one put three and it will rotate it the other way next hit control x and then y and then enter and then to actually get it to change that we need to reboot the machine so we'll do that right now Type in sudo reboot and then hit enter. And when I turn off my lights, you can just barely see that now it's up here. We have good morning, handsome down here, and then we have news feed. Uh, we're still missing the weather up here, so that's our next step. So next we need to log back in our server to make more changes. Again, SSH into your server, put in your password, and then I cleared the screen to make it more visible. So then we want to change directory to magic mirror and then hit enter. Then type in nano space config slash config.js and then hit enter. And so this one is a little hard to see, but this is where our magic mirror config set file is. And so the first we want to scroll down to this area where it says language, log, time format, and units. And so first we want to change our time format if you don't use the 24-hour system. I'm an American, and so we use 12, so I just put in 12. Next, scroll down to where it says metric, and if you don't use metric, we're going to take that out and type in imperial. Now, if we scroll down a little farther, you can see it says modules. And so here you can tell what the module is because it says module alerts. And then if you go down one update notification where it's going to be, top bar clock is going to be the top left calendar for US holidays. And you can change any of these modules that you want. And you can add in extra ones too. But first, let's just fix the weather. And then you'll get an idea how to add modules from that. So if we scroll down a little farther, here it says current weather and location. For me, I'm in New York State, but not New York City. So this location is for New York City. So we need to change that location. Now, how you find that information is you can see right here, it's hard to see. It says HTTP bulk.openweathermat.org slash sample slash city dot list dot JSON dot GZ. And so you want to download that. So we just paste that in. And that will start downloading that file. Once you've done that, you want to actually open up Notepad++. And that will take a few minutes the first time you open up, because it's a big file. And then what you can do is click on Search and Find. And type in your city name. So for me, my city is not listed because I live in a small city, but my airport is. So let's get the airport. 
So after searching, the Chautauqua County Airport came up, and then this is the ID, so 5112358. And so copy that. And then you need to scroll over where it says ID location, paste that in. And I'm going to change my location up above here too. So next we need to get an Open Weather Map API key. So go to openweathermap.org, go to API, and then you need to sign in, and then you can get a free API key. And then paste that in, and then we need to do the same thing in the next weather, weather module. The location ID is correct, and then change your API key. Now, if we go down a little farther, we can see we have a news feed, and you can change that to whatever you want. And then if you want to add any more modules, you would do it down here underneath the news feed. Next, we want to hit Control X, and then Y, and then Enter. Now, what will happen when you hit Enter, your Magic Mirror will reboot, and it actually takes quite a while for the weather to catch up, uh, at least 10 or 15 minutes. And if you're wondering at the top here, it looks like the time is wrong, but that's actually sunset time. And so that's why it's a different time than what is your time right now. So that's how you make a magic mirror. It's pretty simple, just there are a lot of steps to it. I have to say, I do like this Veltros however you say it, mirror, uh, it saves, for me, I'm not quite the woodworker, so having someone else make it for me is much easier. I just wish the screen was a little brighter, though. Uh, that's it for today. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any suggestions on how I could do this better, make sure you leave them down in the comments, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. And a special thank you to all my patrons, who without your support, this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about supporting the channel you love. Thank you.